Hello students, welcome back. Today we will be discussing about units and measurements. As you know that there are two system of units used in the world. The SI systems also known as the metric systems and English units also known as imperial units. The English units were historically used in nations once ruled by the British Empire. Today, the US is the only country that still uses English units extensively. Virtually every other country in the world now uses the metric system, which is a standard system agreed upon by scientists and mathematics. So these are the topics will be covered during this session. International system of units, base quantities or fundamental quantities, derived quantities and unit systems. What is International System of Units or SI units? SI stands for System International. The US used the English system for measurements, whereas the rest of the world uses the metric system. Most people in the world know exactly how long a kilometer is, how large a liter is, or how much is a kilogram weighs because they use these units every day of their lives in the same way American use miles, gallons, and pounds. So the metric system or the international system of units is a system of standard units that is used around most part of the world and in the field of science. What are fundamental units? The basic units are called fundamental units. There are three fundamental units which most commonly used are length, mass, and time. There are other certain physical quantities like thermal, electrical, and illumination disciplines are also represented by fundamental units. So not all quantities can be measured using the fundamental units. For example, volume and density are measured using units that are a combination of base units. Hence a new system having seven fundamental units and two supplementary units has been internationally adopted. The physical quantities are classified into fundamental quantity and derived quantity. There are seven fundamental units and two supplementary units. The fundamental units are length, mass, type, electric current, temperature, luminous intensity, amount of substance. And two supplementary units are plane angle, solid angle. And the derived quantities are area, volume, density. So the international system of units built around seven base units. As you can see in this diagram, the units for temperature is Kelvin, which is denoted by capital letter K. The unit for time is seconds, which is denoted by small letter S. The units for length is meter, denoted by small letter M. The unit for mass is kilogram, represented by kg. And the luminous intensity unit is candela, denoted by cd. And the amount of substances unit is small, denoted by mol. And finally, electric current. The unit for electric current is ampere, which is denoted by capital letter A. Let us see one by one. What are the seven base units? First one, mass. The unit is kilogram. The symbol is kg. So it is kilogram and kg. Next unit is length, meter. Symbol is small letter m. Meter and represented by small letter m. Next unit is time, seconds, represented by s. Second symbol is small letter S. Next is temperature, Kelvin. Symbol is K. So it is Kelvin, capital letter K. Next is electric current and unit is ampere and which is denoted by capital letter A. 
Next is luminous intensity. Unit is candela represented by CD. Next is amount of substance. Unit is small represented by MOL. So these are the base quantities and their base units and symbols. As you can see in this diagram, the dimensions of these fundamental quantities are represented by square bracket and closed it. So length is represented by square bracket L. Similarly, you can see the other quantities. Till now, we have discussed about the base quantities or seven fundamental units. As I already mentioned, there are two supplementary units. The supplementary units are plane angle and solid angle. Plane angle unit is radian and the symbol is RAD. Solid angle unit is steridian and represented by SR. What are derived quantities? As you can see here, all other physical quantities which can be expressed using seven fundamental units are called derived units. Derived units are formed by multiplying or dividing fundamental units or base units. So one example for derived quantities are area, which is nothing but the length squared. So it is meter squared. Another example is volume, so it is length cubed, meter cubed. Example is density, density is nothing but mass per unit volume, so mass is nothing but kilogram, volume as we already learned, it is meter cubed, so kilogram per meter cube. Next is speed or velocity. Speed is nothing but distance travel per unit time, but velocity is displacement per unit time. But the unit is same, that is meter per second. We have acceleration, rate of change of velocity is nothing but acceleration, which is meter per second square. Another example for derived units are force. Force is nothing but mass into acceleration. As you can see here, mass is kilogram, acceleration is meter per second square. So, kilogram meter per second square or it is represented by Newton, which is also denoted by capital letter N. Next is work or energy. Work is nothing but force into distance. That is Newton into meter or it is nothing but kilogram meter square divided by second square or which is equal to joule or represented by capital letter J. Okay. Another unit is power, work per time. That is work is nothing but Newton meter divided by time unit is second. So joule per second or joule second. This is how we derive units. Another way of writing this is kilogram meter square per uh, second cube. Or other unit is watt, represented by W. Another unit is stress or pressure, that is force per area. So, Newton per meter square. As you can see that, Newton is kilogram meter divided by second square, divided by meter square. So, what do you get here? Kilogram meter per second square. One meter and one meter will get cancelled. So, Pascal or represented by PA. Thank you all.